In this video, we are going to continue learning about pre-processing in scikit-learn and we'll talk about how to generate polynomial features. In this video, we'll look at we'll start out with looking at what are polynomial equations, its degrees, and then what are polynomial features. And finally, uh, we'll look at a code snippet before getting into Jupyter Notebook to do the actual coding. So what is a polynomial equation you probably already know as shown here we have a linear equation where y is equal to x minus 1 and here there is a plot for that and so on we have this uh, quadratic equation where x is to the power of 2 then we have a cubic equation and then the quadratic equation with, to the degree of where x is to the uh, power 4 and we can use these degrees in using the scikit-learn library to create multiple polynomial features uh, based on the degree that we use. For example, let's consider this data set here where there are three columns, fertilizer, crop yield, and water. Now, with these can be represented in an array as shown on the right hand side where each column represents a feature. Now, in addition to just these features, a uh, machine learning model also looks at the interactions uh, between these features and it tries to learn if there are any interactions between these features so it's uh, it's uh, it's helpful if we can create interactions for these features and these are shown on this particular slide where on the uh, bottom ar uh, array that we see that is after the interactions have been uh, output by the scikit-learn uh, method. Here we can see that in the, in the output array, we have these original feature columns, uh, fertilizer, yield, and water. And before that, there is a column that has just ones in there. And then after that, there are these extra six columns and among these columns there are three columns that uh, show the interaction between fertilizer yield fertilizer water and yield and water uh, in addition there are uh, other columns in middle which are uh, other uh, parts of the polynomial equation for example this column right here is the pa is the square column so uh, square column for fertilizer so as you can see 5 square is 25 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 and so on and the square column for water is right at the end where 16 is 256 we have 12 that is 144 10 is 100 so these are the interaction terms that uh, we can uh, create using uh, the polynomial features method in scikit-learn Let's look at another example. The previous example of was with degrees 2. Now this is with degrees 3. And here we can see there are a lot more uh, uh, columns generated in the output. Yeah, here there is one additional interaction which was not there before which is fertilizer, yield and water all together. So that's a new interaction that we see here. And there are uh, all uh, additional interactions that are also present in the output. So why is it important to have these interactions? As we I mentioned earlier, uh, these interactions can help uh, learn uh, learn how these features can predict our target output. And here is the code snippet. Uh, it is pretty straightforward and standard as we have seen before. Uh, we'll be importing the library pre-processing and from that we'll use the polynomial features and first we initialize the variable poly using polynomial features degrees to interaction only is equal to false if this is set to false then we get all the columns in the output if this is set to true we get only the uh, original data set and the interaction columns in the output we do not get the uh, power columns in the output. We'll look at that in Jupyter Notebook. And then uh, we perform the fit and transform. So it's pretty straightforward implementation. Now in Jupyter Notebook, I've 
imported two libraries numpy and pre-processing from scikit-learn these are the versions and additionally i've uh, i've written these lines down this is just to print the output of array uh, so that it does not wrap in the cell i'll put this in the description of the video so you can copy it now the data that we have is this which is the same as what we had in the uh, powerpoint presentation the first item that we are going to try here is uh, you know with a degree of two so we'll try degree of two and we'll set the inter uh, we'll set the interaction is equal to false so let's try that poly is equal to pre processing dot polynomial features and if you if you just specify two and then type poly dot fit underscore transform or we can do this in two lines doesn't matter so here as you can see we get everything in the output so this is the same as saying that the interaction only is set to false so let's see that so if we can go ahead and specify degrees uh if you so degrees is equal to two and then specify interaction underscore only is equal to false so sorry degree is equal to and it we get the same output uh, as we had before now if we change that instead of false if we set this to true then the we get only the interaction columns so the columns for power are not there in the output for example this column 1 4 9 16 25 that's not in the output so that's the difference there in addition to uh, this uh, we also looked at a uh, degree 3 in the presentation so let's change the degrees to 3 and see what output we get so we get this additional interaction column which is the multiplication of the these three columns right here and so we have 2 into 2 4 into 11 44 and that's what we have here whereas these other columns are a 5 into 8 40 and that's what we have here and 5 into 16 80 and that's what we have here and then 8 into 16 is 128 and that's what we have right there similarly 2 into 11 22 so that's there and then we have 4 into 12 48 so that's there so that was it a very short video i hope in this video you got an intuition about what uh, what is a polynomial what are polynomial features and how to create polynomial features from a given uh, set of data and uh, what are is what is the intuition behind using interaction so interaction uh, helps interaction helps identify if there is uh, uh, any relation between the two features that can explain the target output also the power can explain the dominance of uh, any feature that can explain the output so these features created features could be used in a machine learning model that was it for this video i hope to see you all in the next video please like share and subscribe thank you